Hello everyone, today we're going to make uh, this traditional Arabic soup, it's a groat soup and you can make this, uh, usually we make it in Ramadan or you can just make it when it's really cold and somebody's sick and soup is really easy to make so we're going to make this today. So these are the ingredients we're going to need. We're going to need one whole chicken, we actually pre-boiled this and this is the soup water from the chicken. We're gonna need some, we're gonna need two tablespoons and a half of white oats. We're gonna need uh, one and a half cups of groat. I actually pre-soaked this so it's a little bit softer now. We're gonna need some black, white pepper, sea salt, tomato paste, and these are the seasonings that we're gonna use. We actually, it's easier if, well we pre uh, put it in these little satchel things. It's easier to um, take out later. So the contents of this bag is there is some cardamom, there's some uh, cumin and the cinnamon sticks, we have some black pepper pods, cardamom pods, uh, we have coriander seeds, of course everything here is pre-roasted, and then the, just the two weird things that I'm not sure you can find really anywhere are these, uh, uh, this is called galangal, it took me a while to google translate this, but this is what this is, it's a uh, like ginger and it's dry so it's kind of hard and these flower kind of um, herbs uh, this is called uh, Sheba in Arabic and I'm not sure if this is in English Ana Rosa and I think this is the Asian name uh, Anakawa really weird I'm sure but if you can find this then uh, good for you if you're Arab then probably and if you're from Jeddah then probably your grandma or your auntie uh, pre-made these. So you just uh, wrap this and then you put it in with the chicken water. We've already chicken watered this before. This one. So let's get started. Before uh, we get moving on, if if it's easier for you if you have these uh, ripped into shreds, so we're going to shred this. We're going to drain the groat and then soak it in this water for about 30 minutes. Okay, so we brought, the, we brought the broth to a boil, and we drained the groats. I'm going to add this, and if we need extra water, which we will, that's about it. We'll add about a cup, well, not a cup, just enough to cover the tip, give it room to boil. So we'll add about a cup of hot water. That's about a cup. So we're going to let this simmer for five minutes uh, without covering the lid and then we're going to cover it for about 20 minutes. Now you want to constantly stir this so it doesn't uh, stick to the bottom. After this is cooked, we're going to add the salt and uh, we're going to add uh, the tomato paste. Last thing we're going to add is the chicken just about three to four minutes before uh, we serve. Okay, so 20 minutes into it, the, the groats are nice and soft. Not very soft, you don't want them to be mushy. So we're going to take a teaspoon of this rock salt, sea salt, or organic salt, whatever you, whatever you call it. We're going to add one and a half of the salt. We're going to give it a good mix. We have lowered the heat on this. This, just in case you're wondering, was the... A bag of seasonings. Now you keep it in the bag so it doesn't ooze out into the soup. Keep it in for extra flavor. We're going to add the tomato paste. So I'm going to add, uh, this is one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and a half. So two tablespoons and a half. Stir it around. We're going to keep the heat on low and then you're just going to uh, stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom for about another uh, 15 minutes. We're just going to mix it in until the whole thing is red. Okay, so I think we're just going to add another uh, cup of water to this because getting a little bit too thick and it is soup at the end of the day so that's about a cup of water we're gonna add just 
half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, so not black pepper, white pepper, half a teaspoon. We're going to add the chicken. Before adding the chicken, we're going to add two and a half tablespoons of this white oak. One. We're gonna boil this just for a bit. Now the oats will, um, they're gonna cook relatively quickly. That's why we add this to the end, and just a half more. This gives it an extra nice texture. A good mix. We're gonna bring this to uh, just a half a boil so that the oats can uh, simmer in with everything, and then we're gonna add the chicken. Now I always say taste your food while it's cooking so you can adjust the salt and pepper and whatnot. So you want to taste this at this moment. If you need to add just a little bit more of tomato paste, you can go ahead or salt or pepper or you can add some um, uh, cinnamon powder. That's also fine. Whatever you like. Don't add too much salt. You want to keep this relatively healthy. So we're going to add the chicken. I used half a chicken for this because you don't want it to have too much chicken. It's more soup than it is chicken. So we're going to wait for this for five minutes to all boil together and then we're going to serve. Okay, so this took time to uh, uh, soften up a bit and it's ready to serve. Get in some of the water bits. Okay, enjoy.